Hello everyone, this is Sean Heather and in this video I am going to show you four different methods of taking a screenshot on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7, S25 Ultra or any of the Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So here we go. So for this video I am going to use the Z Flip 7. You can use the exact same methods on Z Fold 7 or any of the Samsung Galaxy smartphone for taking a screenshot. So the very first method is with the help of the physical buttons, the power button and volume down. So for example, if I want to take a screenshot of this screen, all I have to do is press the power key and volume down key together, press them together and quickly release them like this. And you can see a screenshot is captured. And a bar is coming here where you will find some options. If you just tap here, then you will get the option that what are the contents on your screenshot and then Based on that, you can do some activity, you can share it, you can extract the text, you can make the calendar events, etc. from the screenshot. For example, if I just circle this one, so we are getting multiple options to download it, get the text from there, select it, go to the map and lots of stuff, writing assistant, but as a screenshot. Now if you go to the gallery, then to albums, here you will find a new folder called screenshots. If I go there, this is the screenshot that we have just captured. As you can see, it's an image. You can do all of the changes. Just like a regular image, you can crop it. You can apply some filters, as you can see here. So you can do all of this stuff. You can draw it, erase it, whatever. So. This is the method number one of taking a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 or Z Flip 7. The second method is from the quick toggle menu. So if you swipe it from the top and then swipe it again, you can see we got plenty of options. And one of them will be take a screenshot. If you have a look here, you can see take a screenshot option is not available in this list. So to include it, what you have to do is press this pencil icon. After that, tap on this edit part. And now look for the available button section here you will find take a screenshot just press it press and hold drag and drop it anywhere in this section for example i'm going to put it at the top and then just tap on done then tap on done again and now you can see take a screenshot is added so now once again for example if i want to take the screenshot of this screen all i have to do is swipe down from here and tap on this and the screenshot will be captured. So now if I go to the gallery again, here is the second screenshot that we have just captured. So this is the method number two of capturing a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now for the method number three, you have to go to the settings, activate it, and then you can use that particular method. So let's go to the settings. After that, scroll down, then go to the advanced features tap on that after that you will find an option called motion and gestures tap on this and here at the bottom you will find an option called palm swipe to capture by default it is turned on if it is turned off then all you have to do is just tap on the slider and it will be activated now using this method what you have to do for taking the screenshot is put your hand at one edge of the display and swipe in the another direction so once again, for example, if I want to take the screenshot of this, all I have to do, put my hand at one edge and swipe in the opposite direction. You can see the screenshot is captured. You can do the same from other edge as well. Now let's say if I want to capture the screenshot of this part and the screenshot is captured. So once again, if I go to the gallery, so these are the two new screenshots that we have just captured. So this is the method number three of taking a screenshot. Now, the method number four is about the scroll screenshot. So let's assume the scenario where you are browsing a website and you want to capture not just the content you are seeing on the screen, but the whole page. For example, if we go to the homepage of shanhagar.com, you can see we got multiple pages. It's going down. But if you take a screenshot, it will capture only this. But what if you want to capture the whole page? In that case, what you have to do 
is first take the screenshot using any of the first three methods and then once the toolbar appears at the bottom edge of the screen you will find another option to capture the whole page so let's take a picture with the combination of the power button and volume button volume down and here at the bottom you can see there is a new option earlier there were only four buttons now five of them are coming and the new one is at the bottom left corner once again try to take a screenshot so now you have to tap on this icon here and you can see the page is scrolling by itself and here in the preview you can see it's getting longer and longer because the screenshot is being captured of all of these content so if you want to keep going down you can just keep tapping on this icon here and if you want to stop it then you can just leave it or you can just tap anywhere on the screen and the picture will be captured now if I go back to the gallery then this is the long screenshot that we have just captured as you can see it captured this much content so these are the four different methods that you can use on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7, Z Fold 7 or any of the Samsung Galaxy smartphone to take screenshots. So that's all for now friends. If you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed watching it, then do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads, share this video with your friends and I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.